In chapter two, when we talked about activity models and structure models, we said that business rules inform both models. So what is a business rule? A business rule is usually a succinct statement of constraints on a business process, typically written in text, stated in short sentences. Business rules help us establish multiplicities in class models, and they set criteria for branching and activity models. The object management group also maintains standards for the semantics of business vocabulary and business rules, and has done so since 2008. Overall, once we understand the business rules, it makes our business process modeling easier. For now, we're going to talk about three main types of business rules. There's the obligatory rule that states what should occur. For example, payment should be made in U.S. dollars. There's the prohibited rule that states what should not occur. This business does not accept payments by check. And third, there is the allowed type of business rule. This rule form says what is allowed under what conditions. Credit card payments are allowed if the card is American Express. And finally, business rules are no good at all if they are not enforced. We have four enforcement levels. Strict enforcement, which means that no violations are allowed. There is the pre-override level, where violations are allowed if authorized in advance. The post-override, naturally, is violations are allowed if authorized after the violation. And the fourth level is guidelines. Rules are generally followed, but not strictly enforced.